Um, what were your, the, your memories of the officers of Wisconsin RID? The president, the vice president? There was a hard working group of people. They're very dedicated folks. They were, they were dedicated to the deaf community, to deaf people, really. They were wonderful people, I think. And I made friends that I remained close to for years after. I mean, many are gone now, but uh, I have strong memories. Uh, one thing, you asked me my impression about signing and interpreting. Well, I mean, really, the first time that I really had interpreters was when I went to college. I went to UWM for my master's in deaf education. Before that, I had not experienced any interpreting. At that time, you used interpreters. Well, either the teacher signed or I had an interpreter. But let me tell you, the interpreters were often student interpreters. There were no in professional interpreters available. Can you talk about the changes seen in Wisconsin RID and in interpreting in general. I know that's a lot. Wow. Yeah, I know it is a lot. Well, I remember way back, I was on the board a long time ago. We talked about some of the things that should be done or that could be done like uh, deaf mentors, that type of thing. At that time, we discussed many of these issues, but these things weren't available. So I think we kind of laid the groundwork for some of the future activities that you know, you've seen now. There's been many changes, much improvement, better training, better qualities and skills of work available. You're talking about interpreters. Yes, oh yes. In, in, the interpreters are much better skilled now. Um, one thing I wish happened more now, by the way, I, and I think was uh, happened more before, I would like more interpreters to associate with the deaf. I think, I think there's not enough socialization with the deaf community now. I know that people need to draw the line between work from their social life sometimes. You can't be involved in everything and attend all deaf events. But you know, I'm especially thinking about Wisconsin Association of the Deaf Things, the WAD events. There were some wonderful interpreters at our recent conference, that, and they were volunteering. They were great. And there were some students, but I did not see a lot of interpreters just attending. And I think that happened more in the past, from what I remember at least. It, it seems to me. I would like to share one story, an experience of mine in a different place. Do you remember I told you that I worked in Maryland? And I lived there for 10 years. And that one thing, one thing there that I had to do, one of my responsibilities, um, I worked on a variety of projects. And this one was to develop um, some ASL signs, a research, resource related to prayer and response in church services. First, we met in Maryland. And we used, you know, regular local church affiliated interpreters. Well, the staff told us their skills did not match the needs of this meeting, and they were not satisfied. So I contacted another agency, got professional interpreters, and we went with that, and the group was still not satisfied. Let's see, next, I think we went to, we had our meeting in St. Paul, Minnesota, that's right, for some reason. And, I mean, I know they have good interpreters in that area. But again, uh, the people we had didn't quite meet our needs. Somehow, it didn't work out very well. Maybe they didn't know our signs, whatever. It wasn't a good match again, and there was dissatisfaction. 
Well, one of the people, we had uh, two people on the committee from Milwaukee, and one of them was having a baby, and we wondered, could we meet in Milwaukee? And we did so. So they were going to arrange for the interpreters. They took care of the details, pulled everything together. And in the middle of that meeting, one person stopped and said, from now on, we meet in Milwaukee. We didn't even feel like there were interpreters in the room. We went about our business. Everything was smooth. They were the best interpreters we had. And from there on, we met in Milwaukee. That's a nice story. And through the end of the project, we did. I mean, sometimes myself, I'd like to get to travel somewhere else, but oh well. <laughs>